Hello students, today I am going to teach you soil resources. This topic is allotted 10 marks in the ICAC examination. Let me define what is soil. Soil is a thin layer of loose mixture of small rock particles and organic matter. Soil is formed by the disintegration of rocks known as parent material. Why is rock called as the parent material? Because rocks are the aggregate of minerals. Once rock gets disintegrated or weathered, the eroded particles get deposited into the soil. And these particles are rich in mineral nutrients. So hence it adds to the mineral composition of the soil. Whereas soil also has organic matter. Organic matter is known as humus. So this humus is derived from the decomposed matters of dead plants and animals. Once the plants and animals die, there are nitrogen fixing bacteria called as the nitrobacter or decomposing bacteria. They decompose the dead organisms and they are broken down to the soil nutrients. So hence, soil is the mixture of both organic and inorganic nutrients. And soil is also a thin productive layer of the earth that supports life. The top soil is known as the organic layer. Why? Because it has decomposed vegetal and animal remains known as humus. But whereas the subsoil is mineral layer, which is the outcome of disintegration of bedrocks deep inside the earth. These bedrock gets uh, disintegrated and they supply minerals to the subsoil. So hence the topsoil is the mixture of both mineral and organic nutrients. Why is soil important? As you all know that India is an agricultural country. 70% of the Indian population is involved or practicing agriculture where soil becomes a very very important medium for growing crops not only growing crops even the natural vegetation so soil is the medium that can help plants to grow apart from that soil is also a natural habitat of burrowing animals and insects but fun and white it's very very important to know very very important uses or importance of soil firstly Soil has moisture to supply essential nutrients to the plants. Once the soil is wet, there can be a good development in the root system. And root system helps or contributes to the growth of plant. Soil also has optimum depth required for the plants to grow. The thicker is the soil there is a better growth of plant. Why? Because a thick soil can help the root and the shoot system to develop. Soil also has essential nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and silica that is nothing but sand. See the, all these are the mineral constituents but nitrogen is present in the atmosphere. It has to be fixed into the soil naturally. Either the soil has to be broken up once the soil is broken, the atmospheric nitrogen gets deposited or sometimes it is also deposited into the soil when it rains. Soil contains organic nutrients known as humus. As discussed earlier, once the dead plants and organisms, other organisms are decomposed, they are added to the nutrient pool of the soil and that is nothing but humus. Next. Let's classify the soil. Soils are classified on various bases. Sometimes the soils are classified based on the texture, sometimes the color or the place where they are found. See, there are some soil which is found in some places where they are formed. And there are some soil which is formed as a result of transportation 
or deposition. So, based on these observations, there are two types of soil. One is known as the residual soil or sedimentary soil or in situ soil. See, in situ, the word in situ means in situation. That means the soil found at the place of its origin. Whereas transported soil is the soil which is formed as a result of depositions made by the external agents of denudation. Basically, running water is an external agent of denudation which is uh, uh, on a large scale responsible for the formation of the soil on the surface of the earth.